So, it's uh, getting late in the season. It's starting to get colder out. I don't know how many more uh, weekends I'm going to have when it's not going to be snowy outside. So, time to get a few more castings done while I still can. Uh, still not Halloween yet. I've already done my entry for the casting contest, which you might have seen. Um, but I got more spooky stuff I can cast if I want to. Um, my sand is sand is good. All ready to go. Spooky skull shaped. Uh, Let's call it a candy dish with the place to put your Popeye candy sticks on. Chalk line refill. It's supposed to be less of a respiratory hazard, I believe, than the baby powder. So. A super fancy parting bag. pattern is made of uh, plaster. I uh, cast the pattern in a mold I got online from someplace. I can't remember where. Yeah, there's several different uh, sellers who have these same molds. So if you look for plaster molds, you'll probably find one just like it if you wanted to. This fine sieve, so I can riddle on some facing sand. Just so we don't get any uh, lumpy stuff touching the pattern, it might not look nice once the casting comes out in the end. Sands just a little wetter than uh, than usual. I mean, it'll be fine for casting with, but it's not going through the riddle as nice as I'd like. So I'm gonna use this. It's I've got the the main details covered anyway. I get this slightly coarser sieve. Probably should have uh, put another board on the other side of that first, but I had a pretty good feeling it wasn't going to fall out on me. Well, chalk doesn't smell like baby powder at least. Nope. Cup only fits on one way.
All right, a little bit of parting, just to uh, keep any loose grains from sticking to the inside of the mold. Put more than I need here because I just want to. I'm gonna blow it back out later. But this should make a nice protection against anything that falls in there that might want to stick and not be easy to get out. All right. So now. here. It's not a very heavy mold comparatively so I don't feel too dangerous about not having a board in the back of that when I moved it like that. Normally you would want to put a board under there though before trying something like that. I'll do it here just to show you. All right, so okay. like I said, I don't have my uh, my gate pattern, so I'm just gonna have to cut it in the sand here. Um, some little tools. Got the dollar store that should be good for this. Um, bear with me here. See, you, you can see where the runner goes and where the skull is, so that's good. I like the runner to go past where the gating is so that any loose grains or dross will get trapped in the end of the runner, at least in theory. You gotta get the softest brushes you can find to do this kind of stuff. Those best not have been raindrops I just heard. Hopefully it's just leaves falling on the roof of my shed here or something like that. Alright, you've seen that. Let's see. I'm gonna remember which side the skull is facing when I uh well the sprue's gonna be when it flips over the sprue's gonna be at my end, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to remember that. To hope that the mold doesn't drop out on me. But like I said, this, this flask is not the, the heaviest. 
Don't get me wrong, it's not light. Alright. Here's a trick I learned from old Foundryman on YouTube. Um, you, practice, you test close it. The theory is, dumping it down like that a couple times. If there's any sand that's going to fall off the cope and land in the drag, that has happened by now. Open it back up, and look at that. Not a single grain. But if there was, it would not be stuck to the mold because of that parting I put in there. I probably explained this in other videos before, but maybe not in so much detail. You don't want too much parting in here, though. It's not, not going to be the greatest thing for the casting. So I'm going to blow up most of it. You don't want it lumpy and burning up in there. And you can see that my sand's a little damper than usual. Jeez, look what happened there. That's not very nice. It's going to be a... Oh boy. Some little chummy in my sand. Let's see if I can fix this. Now I'm way out in uh, experimental surgery land, I guess. I don't know if that's going to hold up, but we shall see. Ah! Uh, This is the second time I tried to run with this mold. There was a little, a little piece of munge in my sand that was right on the face of the pattern, unfortunately. Alright, we got a good one this time. Now the final close up. There's no excess of parting in there. It's a nice smooth mold cavity. Got a Gonna put just a just a slight dusting into there you know, to help me see it. And, you know, I don't think it's gonna do any harm. It's just something I always do, and I'm not really sure why. That's the mold. See, this is this is just some sand that was on the board when I had it flipped over. Not a big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. See what I'm doing now, but I'm just sliding the mold onto a uh, bottom board that I don't care if it gets a little burnt up, but I carry it out to down to pour on top of. And there we have it. Spooky skull ash, I mean candy tray uh, casting coming up. We'll see how it works. Well, I never did get to cast that mold. Um, as soon as I finished ramming it up, I went outside and it began to pour with rain. And it didn't stop all weekend. And then the next weekend came by and it rained all weekend again. And then most of the way through the next week, all of a sudden it snowed and it got freezing cold outside and I was worried that I wasn't going to get another chance to cast anything this year. But, um, seems to have warmed up a bit today and yesterday. So I managed to ram up another version of that same mold yesterday. Stuck it in my bench and uh, to keep it fresh. And hopefully it's still good today because 
I'm going to go out and try and cast it. So that's what you're going to get to see today. But before I do, uh, quick update. The belt buckle. Um, I want to thank everyone who voted for my entry in the homefoundry.org's 2017 Halloween casting contest because uh, you guys picked mine. Uh, you know, five other guys and me all all thought that mine was the best out of the two entered. <laughs> and uh, hooray, I won. Thanks, Dave, for having this contest and for honoring the prize, even though there were only two entrants. Uh, that was a surprise, honestly. I always thought I was just doing it for fun, but uh, I'm going to spend my winnings on maybe get more sand or something like that. Uh, it's definitely going to go back into the foundry. and uh, So I'll have more stuff to post here and on the, on the forum. Uh, and uh, Kelly... Your spider was amazing. Uh, you know, I I just about voted for it instead of my own entry. It was that cool. I couldn't believe you got all that stuff to fill. You guys should go to the forum and see it. Uh, Thehomefoundry.org. It's 2017 Halloween casting thread. He made this uh, spider. These thin webs and long skinny legs. And the, he did it all with lost foam. And, and it worked. It, it came out perfect. Um, Unbelievable! I would have, I would not have thought it possible. So congratulations to you too. Uh, came down to one vote in the end. So uh, I don't know. I I was amazed and learned stuff from your entry too. Anyhow, that's another story. Today we make the skull-shaped ashtray to the foundry. It was technically a little below freezing out when I made this mold. So it was interesting working with my sand and those conditions. Uh, it wasn't quite frozen enough to make it completely lose its stickiness, but I did have to do a little extra ramming. Um, but like I said, it was just barely below freezing yesterday. And uh, you know, I found it unusual my sand had stayed fresh in my bench for you know, basically since just before Halloween when I was got it ready to to make this mold last time and before it froze a couple days ago the sand still felt just as good um, I guess the cool weather you know there's less evaporation as well as I try to seal my bench with this foam kind of gasket thing it does dry out pretty quick during the summer uh, no matter what I do anyway I'm gonna try and pour this today and we'll see how it goes.
uh, straight waste vegetable oil. It's just starting up, so it's a little smoky still, but yeah, we're gonna get a get a good uh, good neutral balance pretty soon. There's uh, this what's happening underneath there right now. to me but we'll have to wait and see I can get my sand back without getting dirt from the backyard into it not that a little bit will do a, too much harm can't be too fussy See what we have got here. Oh, would you look at that? Hot. A little bit of flashing there, that's too bad. Pretty clean looking otherwise though. There's where the screw holes were in the back of the pattern. See all the little veins here and here. Alright, well, happy belated Halloween everyone. Well, here's a closer look at it. Not sure what I'll do with this. I think it came out pretty good. There's a little, little bit of uh, porosity or pitting or something. I think it's because I poured too hot. I, uh, I overheated it a little. That helps it fill, but it messes with the quality of the casting a little bit. Still pretty good though. Everything came out. Uh, I've had this little divot here not fill once, not this time. Pretty good. I like it. I, uh, you know, maybe I'll give it to one of my friends who uh, who still hasn't gotten off the combustion as a grim reminder of the fate that awaits them. Thanks for watching.